everybody. Oh my goodness. Happy stinking new year. <laughs> Can you believe it? 2020 is over. Oh, good riddance, right? I'm so glad. I'm so glad 2020 is over. I can't even begin to tell you. And I know you guys probably feel the exact same way. Like, wake up today. It is a brand new year. There are new adventures, new possibilities, so many new things to look forward to. Hey, Katie. Hey, Dawn. Oh, goodness. Hi, Suzanne. Hi, Maggie. Oh, are you excited, Katie? I'm excited, too. Wow. So, I missed you guys. Wiggle. You got it. Let's wiggle. That wiggle. So speaking of wiggling, actually, I'm going to be taking the iPad, you guys, pretty soon here, hopefully uh, this weekend to get that um, that little connection fixed. So we we can still wiggle right into 2021, but um, <laughs> hopefully we'll have to wiggle the microphone to make that happen. How are you guys? Happy New Year. I've missed you guys so much. It feels like it has been forever since I have done a Facebook Live. I haven't seen you since last year. <laughs> It's been, what, maybe two weeks, I think? Gosh, and that feels like a really, really long time, particularly for me, because I'm one of those people who, like, I have to get up and do every single day. If I spend a lot of time, like, idle, I, bad things happen in my head, and so I have to, like, ooh, I have to... Um, I have to be busy. And so to force myself to take some time off was very difficult. It was very much needed, but it's very, very difficult for me to, um, to make myself like not work. <laughs> and after about three days, I was like sending my friends messages and I'm like, um, I haven't made any jewelry in three days. I haven't been in my office except to just put some shelves together. And um, I'm kind of having withdrawal. <laughs> And they're like, go make something. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. So, yeah. So it's been hard to not work. It's been hard to um, to not see you guys for sure. So I've tried to stay as, as active on social media as I can, but at the same time, kind of keeping the couch warm and watching um, so many Hallmark movies. <laughs> you know, you've watched them all when they start to repeat. You know, and you're like, I've been laying here for a long time. I just saw this one. <laughs> it's been like three days. Yeah. So, hi. Oh, yes. Idle hands. Not good, Julie. Not good at all. I feel that way very, very much. It's very hard for me. So I did find some things to keep myself busy. Um, and <laughs> you guys might have noticed. Uh, I put together an email list, which I am super excited about. So Thank you for those of you who have signed up for my email list. If you have not done that yet, please do so. Um, for those of you who have signed up, and if you're going to sign up, I thank you for your patience <laughs> with me. Um, I, am, I am brand new to email lists, and it took me a good two days to figure out how to run the program. Another one of those things where I'm like texting my friends and I'm like, somebody please come do this for me because I can't figure it out. One of those things. Um, I, I make things, but when it comes to making things on the computer, oh, it's like speaking a foreign language to me. So very, very difficult for me to figure it out, but I did, which is good. So um, that being said, the mailing list is... Um, <sighs> It's getting there. <laughs> a lot of you have signed up and I thank you for that. It's gonna be a great way for you to stay up to date with what is happening for Sarah Ellis Designs here in 2021. Can't believe it's 2021. Um, so yeah, uh, and again, I apologize. Thank you for being patient with me. If you get anything funky, <laughs> you get one that's like, what? I know some of you were having trouble downloading the free project that came. If you have trouble downloading anything like that, if I send you something like that, just reach out to me and let me know. I have absolutely no problem whatsoever getting back to you and sending you the file separately, which I did for a couple of people. Not a problem at all. It's just right on my computer. Um, so yeah. How do we sign up, says Francis. So there is a link in the Sarah Ellis Designs Community Facebook pay, or Facebook group. There is also a link on the business page as well. You may have to scroll down. It's a couple of posts back. Um, I will pin it somewhere so that you guys can get to it for sure. Um, but all you gotta do is just enter your email and you're ready to go. I promise I won't spam you. I know that like, a lot of people don't like to sign up for email lists because they're afraid that like I'm anybody, not just me, is going to send you a ton of um, a ton of you know spam and like 
try to persuade you to buy things. I promise I won't do that. I totally will respect your time. I don't like it when I get a ton of emails that are like that either. So I probably will only email you guys maybe once a week at the absolute most. Like I really just want the email list to be where you can, um, get reminded of the Michaels classes that are coming up or um, anything fun and new that I've got going on so that you don't miss it. Okay. Um, something else, uh, somebody was reaching out to Joan. Guys, Joan is not here today. She is off um, doing, I don't know, Joan things, shenanigans with with Mr. Joan. And so she is not here to answer questions, unfortunately. Um, so uh, she can't pin any of the links for me, but um, I promise I will pin all of those things for you guys when we are done. Unfortunately, I can't I can't double duty that, which I wish I could, but somebody mentioned my ring. <laughs> So when I said we were going to start the new year off with um, some sparkle, I meant that. I meant that. So my mom, my mom and I have been talking about how Swarovski is stopping, you know, and that whole like that whole thing. So for the past like week, two weeks, we've been like buying up whatever Swarovski we can find that is reasonably priced. Well, we actually had this conversation previously um, before Christmas happened and... <laughs> And she found a Swarovski ring for me for Christmas. She found this on Etsy, you guys. I'm going to show it to you. You're going to be like, holy smokes. So it's a little over the top, but I love it so much. Look at that. Wowza, right? Oh my gosh. Like takes up my whole hand, but oh yeah. So if you're looking <laughs> like buy up the Swarovski, like I don't know where to tell you to buy it. I don't know where she got this. All I know is that she got it on Etsy. Uh, it's my favorite. It's that Bermuda blue, which is my absolute favorite Swarovski color of all time. But yeah, right? <laughs> so I had to wear it so I could show it to you guys because I knew you guys would appreciate that sparkle. Like, oh, we all love that sparkle. So yeah, no, it's not a blue diamond. Wouldn't that be fabulous? But no, just Swarovski. So inexpensive, but still amazing, right? The best costume jewelry ever. Yeah, a little over the top. That might be an understatement, but oh, I love it so much. Okay, so <laughs> yeah, I'm telling you, Sharon says she's been looking for Swarovski too. All you got to do is just go right on over to Etsy and type it in and everything in the world Swarovski comes up. So yeah. Oh, speaking of Swarovski, that's actually what we're using for our project today. And I am going to get to that in just a second because I do want to kind of address the elephant in the room. Um, just kind of touch on a couple of things before we get down and dirty. Um, I did mention it in the event information. So you guys know that there is some talking happening here today, um, you know, before an actual project. So let's, let's bring it down. My energy level is like way up here because I haven't seen you guys in so long. Um, but I made I made an announcement which I was actually not planning on making until today. Um, but it actually kind of scooted out <laughs> through other means before I had um, an opportunity to kind of officially address it. So I'm going to officially address it here, even though I did kind of post it already. Um, I have. Um, resigned as the uh, designer for Jesse James Speeds. I know, super sad, right? Um, but it doesn't mean I'm gone. <laughs> I had so many people message me like the day that that information came out. I probably got 50 messages that were like, where are you going? Please don't leave. I'm not going anywhere. I promise I'm not going any where at all you guys are not even going to have an opportunity to miss me because there is a brand new schedule for sarah ellis designs facebook lives that they, they are uh what did i do with the schedule <laughs> i'll have to, have to take it from memory here so I won't be over on Jesse James Beads anymore, but you can always catch me right here, okay? And I'm gonna be holding the 1 p.m. Eastern time time slot for the week. Now, I say that kind of loosely because the schedule, I'm not quite ready to fill up the entire schedule just yet, but that's the goal. So for those of you who missed the post, it is, it is marked and pinned in the Facebook group. Mondays, eventually okay i'm not ready for these yet so that's why this is marked as coming soon mondays are going to be make it with me mondays and the goal for make it with me mondays is that hopefully i'm going to be able to put together some kits right 
so that we actually can make things together. Um, but I got to take baby steps towards that. That's the goal. I'm hoping that that happens before spring, but I do want you to like kind of save the date. Monday's 1 p.m. Eventually that's where we're going with Mondays. So that's not quite set on the schedule. Just know those are coming. Tuesdays, again, all of these times are going to be at 1 p.m. Eastern time, okay? Tuesdays is going to be Technique Tuesdays, which means we are going to focus on a technique. We'll probably focus on more than one technique because you guys know how I am when it comes to making stuff. But I really want to give attention to a technique or a product or something like that where we really kind of focus down on just one in particular thing, but still make a beautiful project together, okay? Wednesdays are open and the reason that the Wednesdays are open is because a lot of you guys know I will be teaching virtual classes for Michael's craft stores and those classes are going to happen on Wednesdays. They will not be every single Wednesday. Um, let me see. I'll grab my schedule here so I can tell you guys and I part of the mailing list. I'm going to keep you guys up to date with all of that. So let me tell you what the Michael's schedule is just for this month. So um, let's see here. This next week coming up on January 6th, that's going to be my very first Michael's virtual class. Um, and you can go ahead and sign up for that now. I will put that in an email with the time and the link so that you guys can go straight to it. But if you go over to the Michael's website, there's a drop down for online classes. You can go ahead and sign up. Guys, all of those classes are free. Um, the only thing that it costs is obviously if you want to buy the materials to like make along. Um, but otherwise, the resources there are completely free. So that will be happening on Wednesday of next week. Uh, there's always a class on Wednesdays, just so that you guys know. The next Wednesday will actually be Meredith Roddy. So there's there's continuously going to be classes happening over on the Michaels website. Um, I will be again on a Michaels class on the 16th. That's a Saturday. So I'm going to be alternating Wednesdays and Saturdays, virtual classes for Michaels. Um, and then I will be with them again on the 20th. So I'll give you guys that whole schedule. I'll put that in an email so that you don't miss it. I'll also post it on the Facebook page and in the Facebook group so that you don't miss it. Again, those are completely free classes. Those are being brought to you by Michaels and Beadalon. Okay, so yes, the question was, um, can you um, can you see the classes later? You absolutely can. So the classes happen live, but then Michaels takes the classes once they're over and then puts them on the Michaels YouTube channel. So you will be able to watch those over and over again, and they're always free, you guys, which is fantastic. If you're interested in other things like um, if you're interested in shoot magoot, <laughs> painting, sewing, crochet, like my brain just went completely blank. If you are interested in those things, Michaels offers a wide variety of free online classes. So there are a ton of instructors and there are a ton of classes that you can take. So there is no reason why you can't start out the brand new year with you know, you've got plenty of stuff to do. New, learn something new, right? Take a take a painting class, take a drawing class. They're free. You have absolutely nothing to lose. Come hang out and take the ones with me. I would really, really much appreciate it. Guys, I'll be completely honest with you. I'm a little bit nervous about it because the format is a little bit different. So before you guys, <laughs> before you guys come to those classes, I want you to understand that it is a little bit different. It's not quite as laid back and casual as we are here, right? With a lot of goofing off and silly shenanigans and me carrying on and talking for endless amounts of time. The Michaels classes, they are live and there is a chat that's going on. So you will be able to ask me questions. However, I do want to just kind of point out for a second that because these classes do go over to the Michaels YouTube channel and live there forever, I can't necessarily address you by name. Um, and I will probably answer your questions like in statement form. Do you see what I'm saying? So the interaction is not really going to be the same um, just because it's a different company and it's, you know, so we got to kind of follow their rules. You guys keep being you. Just know that like if I'm not like, hey, blah, 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 it's not because I don't see you and I'm being rude. It's just because the format is just a little bit different. Um, but that's okay because we're still going. So Mondays eventually will be Make It With Me. Tuesdays are definitely already on the schedule as Technique Tuesdays. Wednesdays will be Michael's classes. 
Thursdays at 1 p.m. will be Throwback Thursdays. This one I'm really kind of looking forward to. So Throwback Thursdays. Guys, I've been in the industry for a long time and I've got a lot of projects under my belt. So we're gonna take old projects and we're just gonna breathe new life into them. We're gonna bring them back with new techniques, new tips, new tricks, new beads. We're gonna make them look, you know, brand new. So if there are projects that you've seen me do in the past that you'd like to see me do again, but with an update, Thursdays is gonna be your day, okay? Last but not least is Fridays. Fridays are gonna be Feel Good Fridays. That's what we're doing right now, Feel Good Friday. Feel Good Fridays, all that means is that the projects are gonna be simple, easy, we're just gonna hang out and be casual and have a good time and take ourselves into the weekend on a high note, right? We're not gonna get hunkered down on crazy learning techniques or anything like that. We're gonna do simple, fun, beautiful jewelry on Fridays. So that's the schedule. If you've missed it, I'll post it. It's already in the community um, group. So sign up for that. If you've not done that already, please come join our community. There's also a D-Stash community that is happening right now that just got put together while I've been away. So if you've got beads, tools, findings, charms, whatever it is that makes jewelry that you are looking to offload onto somebody else, right? Then join the D-Stash community as well. It's a really good um, way to kind of, you know, declutter for the new year and maybe pick up some new treasures as well. So, um, when will I be doing Jewel Loom with Juliana? Thank you for bringing that up, Anita. So that is still continuing as well, you guys. I will still be doing Jewel Loom Facebook Lives. Like my schedule is crazy full. So on Wednesdays after my Michaels classes, I will still be doing 4 p.m. Eastern time Jewel Loom Facebook Lives with Jules and on Fridays at 4 p.m. Facebook Lives with Jules on Jewel Loom. It's a lot of stuff going on, a lot of stuff. Speaking of Jewel Loom, I know, I've got a lot to talk about, I'm sorry. <laughs> Some of you are like, oh my God, get to the project. I will, I promise. It's just, there's so much going on, I can't, I can't wait to share it all. So, as far as the um, Jewel Loom is, con is concerned, that whole situation, for those of you who were part of the mailing list already, have gotten the email, the February project kits through Jewel Loom are already available for purchase. You guys, it's a gorgeous, gorgeous bracelet. If you have not signed up to receive the monthly kit through Jewel Loom, go over to Jewel Loom, sign up for that. It's gorgeous. So the January kits have already sold out. Those classes are happening week after next for those of you who have bought the January class. The February classes will be happening obviously after all of the kits have sold out and have been scheduled. It's gorgeous. Something that I want to mention to you guys is that the kits and the projects are not just going to be Jewel Loom. I mean, they are Jewel Loom, but they're not all looming projects. We have stringing projects and wire projects and all kinds of jewelry projects coming up. So don't, don't be like deterred if you're like, that was a terrible word. <laughs> Don't be deterred. Don't. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to leave that one alone. Don't not sign up for the classes because you don't have a loom. Like, let me entice you to get a loom, but there's also going to be some other projects that happen that are off loom as well. So <laughs> don't be deterred. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. You can tell I'm a little rusty, right? I haven't seen you guys in a minute. So <laughs> who knows what's going to come out of this mouth. Okay, so all of that is still going on as well. Next is, hmm, let's see. Oh, you guys, yesterday, like last night, I listed in... <laughs> you guys are laughing over that. That's funny. Um, <laughs> those of you who were um, staying up late with me last night, which it was New Year's Eve, so I feel like a lot of people were staying up late, but... I dropped some goodie bags into my Etsy shop and holy smokes, you guys, the metal bead mixes sold out immediately. <laughs> they sold out so fast that I had to relist. So those of you who bought my metal mix grab bags, thank you. <laughs> and for those of you who got the second round of those, thank you. Those are completely sold out, you guys, completely sold out. Um, but I still have more grab bags that um, are in the shop and I also have more that are coming to you. We're gonna hit on Etsy too here in just a second. So I have glass bead mixes. These are from the, um, the bead soup bucket, right? I've got the bucket. 
over here behind me, I've got lots and lots of these guys. So it's just under a half a pound of glass beads. And I say glass beads, but it's glass beads, check glass beads. There are some rogue gemstones. There's ceramic beads. There are some crystals in here. Like it's a little bit of everything, but no acrylic. Okay, so these mixes don't have any acrylic beads in them whatsoever. There are two of these left in the shop, but I have more. So if you want more of the glass mixes, those uh, grab up the two that are there and I can relist a few more. There are also three left of the acrylic mixes. So I have acrylic mix mixes. Again, this one is right under a half a pound it's just they're just bigger beads so it's in a bigger bag but um you can go and grab these there are three of these left in the shop but there are um a lot more available so if you guys buy these up and you want more or if they sell out just let me know okay because i can relist these for you guys too um so those are available in my etsy shop and speaking of etsy shop um the Etsy shop link is on the business page. I'll, I'll post it again. It got posted in the D stash group. So if you are part of, thank you, Rosanna. Um, if you guys are part of the D stash group or you're part of the community group, you can get the information to go straight to the Etsy shop. Um, otherwise, Rosanna just said you can go over to Etsy and type in 13 crows, or you can just type in my name and my Etsy shop will come up. My Etsy shop at the moment just has um, jewelry in it and these grab bags of beads. That eventually will be where we put the kits. That will also be where I put some little other little mixes together and things like that. So I'm gonna start referring to the shop more frequently. So familiarize yourself with the shop. Um, links to that are also in the email that just went out last night from the email list. Um, that being said, I also want to update the shops regularly on Fridays for pieces of jewelry that um, will be up loaded into the shop um, on Fridays like at the end of our project today I'm going to show you a couple of pieces they actually got uploaded last night but that's because I was like chomping at the bit and I couldn't wait <laughs> I'm going to show you what those pieces are so you can kind of see them it's better for you guys to see them I think on camera than it is for you to um, look at them on the Etsy site and be like well I can't really tell what the colors there are or whatever because pictures are just totally different so at the end of our project today I will um I will show you what new pieces of jewelry have gone into the Etsy shop, okay? So, gosh, I know, I've given you guys like a ton of information really, really quickly here. Thank goodness for replays. <laughs> Thank goodness for replays, right? You can go back and get all of this information. Um, so, let's see, I feel like there are a couple of other things that I want to address. Oh, snack time shenanigans. So those are not on the schedule, but those will be pop-ups. You guys know I'm not gonna stop st the snack snack shenanigans at all those are fabulous i've already got some snacks um, i've got a little bin started speaking of bins i got brand new shelves tons of bins like i'm ready to like full-on business this you guys that's what i've been working on since i've been away from you guys um, i've been putting my studio together in a way that like i can get orders together get things out the door super quick um so yeah I'm ready to uh, one man band this whole <laughs> this whole thing. Um, let's see something else. Oh, guys, every time we do a Facebook Live, I put together an event, and that's how you guys get notified that there is going to be a a project. I just want to mention that most of the time, those events, if you will click on the about section, a lot of times, if possible, I list the materials needed for our project ahead of time. Now, I know that it's a little bit different since I'm not like at the moment selling the materials for our projects, every single project or anything like that, but it does give you an opportunity to beforehand kind of go through your own stash and grab up whatever you need to make along if you want to, okay? So just know that there's like more information in the event markers on Facebook um, always check those and see like what information is there because I feel like that kind of gets missed sometimes and I, nine times out of ten I will give you guys a materials list okay or links like for today's show I've got links um, let's see anything else gosh so much has happened since we have um, seen each other last um, did you guys read my bio I put up a short bio just so that our new people um, can get to know me. And those of you who have been with me for a while can kind of re-get to know me. Um, 
some people have forgotten that I've been in the industry for a long time, you guys. Um, Jesse James Beads was not my first rodeo and certainly will not be my last rodeo. Um, that is not where I got my start. So for those of you who would like to know where I got my start, check out that bio, give you a little bit more information on where I came from, right? Um, so yeah, that's all I'm gonna say about that. <laughs> I would just rather keep it that way. All right, all exciting. I know, so many exciting things going on. It's just, it's so much information. Um, I'm gonna take my notes off here. I did have notes stuck to the iPad. Let's talk about today's project. Yes, that's what we're all here for. Yes, yes, read my bio. Tells you where I came from, where I'm going, what I'm doing, and you're coming with me. You got no choices. <laughs> I just lost my scarf here. Okay, so thank you, Charlene. I appreciate that very, very much. Oh my gosh, Wanda says, this is so exciting. 2021 is gonna be the year of Sarah Ellis. Mm, I don't know about all that, but I'll take it, I'll take it. Okay, before I get to the project, I guess that is that is one thing that I didn't mention. I didn't really put it on my notes here, but um, for those of you who are also business owners, for those of you who are within the industry who might be watching, Sarah Ellis is single and ready to mingle. So if you are interested in collaborating with me on anything, let me know. Just send me a message. You can catch me. Um, you can you can message me rather on LinkedIn um, or you can message me straight here on Facebook or send me an email. So if you're um, if you're interested in that, just let me know. Guys, I'm still very much a designer for Beetalon and we will be focusing very heavily on Beetalon projects for 20 or Beetalon products for 2021. Um, and let's see what else jewel loom i'm very much a jewel loom designer as well so <laughs> just just so everybody's aware of like where i'm checking my boxes nowadays all right yeah it's gonna be a fun new year you guys it's gonna be a fun new year i'm ready to rock and roll so thank you it is definitely gonna be a new adventure for sure and i'm so thankful that you guys are here with me okay now let's talk about um <laughs> Thank you guys. I see your comments. <laughs> I see you and I love you. I'm giving you hearts back. Um, okay, so single and ready to mingle, I mean in a business sense. <laughs> just, just making that one clear. Okay, so speaking of being single and ready to mingle, this is a collaboration um, with our dear friend, Miss Candy Cooper. So um, that's where you can grab the things that you need for today's project, okay? Today we're putting together one of the Candy Cooper Sparkle Bracelets. Now, I decided that it would be a really good idea to put together a Sparkle Bracelet for our very first project of the new year um, because I actually bought a ton of the Sparkle Bracelets and gave them as Christmas presents. I'm obsessed, like absolutely obsessed. These are just two of the ones I have. Like I have another green one. I've got the one we're putting together today and I probably bought, I don't know, at least four, maybe more, I can't even remember at this point, four, um, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> reading comments and talking at the same time. Um, I put together a bunch of these bracelets for Christmas presents because they're so beautiful and not only that, but I'm still like in mourning of this whole Swarovski situation, right? So when I found out that that was a possibility and now it really is a truth, um, the sparkle bracelets are only gonna be around for a while. So I started grabbing them up and I want you guys to grab them up as well. We're gonna put them together. I'm gonna show you how to do it. It's not hard. You're gonna need the little pusher tool the sparkle bracelets and the pusher tool you can grab over on Candy Cooper's Etsy shop. Guys, there's a link to that in the description of this project. Um, and if you if you miss it, you can just go to Etsy and type in Candy Cooper. It, it comes up. Um, she's got a whole section of sparkle. So she's got sparkle bracelets as well as sparkle earrings. And you have to set the stones yourself. You gotta set the crystals yourself. So I'm gonna show you guys, for those of you who have never done that before, I'm gonna show you how to do that for our project today. It won't take us very long, um, but I will show you that it's um, one of those kinds of projects where you definitely use your sentence enhancers and can get really frustrated. <laughs> I put together a bunch of them, so I've been through all of that part, but it is live, so who knows what's gonna happen. Um, wanted to um, try to convince you to go on over there. Check out Candy Cooper's shop while you're there. She's also having a huge check glass beads um, 
event at the moment. She has dropped a ton of check glass beads into her shop and she has updated the sparkle bracelets. The sparkle bracelets update happens today and there will be another update of sparkle bracelets tomorrow. So if you're interested in those, put those in your cart, get them going guys. If you will mention my name, in the comments when you go to check out, she'll also throw in a free gift for you as well. So it um, doesn't have to just be sparkle bracelets. You can pick up anything in her shop. Just mention me in the comments and um, grab yourself a free gift. I have a feeling it's something sparkly. Something just tells me. I think we're all kind of starting the new year out with sparkle. <laughs> so, all right. I wear sparkle. Jane says I wear sparkle bracelets 24 seven. I do too. I do too. Now that I have them, I'm like obsessed with them. And every time she uploads a new one, like every time there's a new color, I'm like, oh, I need that one. They're all on my wish list. And I'm just like checking them off as I go. I'm like, oh, so there's already two more that I have my eye on. <laughs> Patty says, love Candy Cooper. I love Candy Cooper too, guys. I've known Candy Cooper for a very, very long time. She and I both um, are Beadalon designers. And um, she was very much with me in the beginning when I've got started. She and Katie Hacker um, took very good care of me um, in my early days with Beetle On when I was feeling uh, very much out of place and um, out of my element. They they definitely welcomed me into the industry and made me feel at home and uh, reminded me that I deserved to be there. So I will be eternally grateful to Candy Cooper and Katie Hacker for that forever and ever. Big hearts to both of them. Um... Let's see. Yes, yes. I'm just checking out the comments before we get started. Love Miss Candy. I think we all do. I think we all do. Um, speaking of kind of doing this project, these Candy Cooper bracelets, guys, I also intend to be collabing with Miele. <laughs> so um, just, just watch out for that as well, you guys. Like I said, I'm not going anywhere. You're not going to get rid of me that easy. <laughs> Every time you come on Facebook, there I'll be. <laughs> So just know, oh my gosh, Steph has 22 of the sparkle bracelets. Girl, <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, I'm headed that, I'm headed down that road. <laughs> um, I will upload these, Can, or Katie, that's a great question. Katie says, will you upload these videos to YouTube? That is a, um, a great question. Yes, you guys, my YouTube channel, it has sat there just kind of sad for a while, but Joan has been um, making sure to upload these Facebook Lives after the Lives over to my YouTube channel. I thank her very, very much for that. She is, like I said, she's out with Mr. Joan today, and so she will not be doing that. I will be doing that um, today. Uh, if I forget somebody, I put a sticker on my computer, like uh, sticky notes keep me in line. <laughs> I will upload this so you can rewatch it. Okay, okay. Yes, join the sparkly side. Oh my gosh, one more thing and I swear, I promise you we will get to this project. It's just been so long since we've talked. Speaking of Joan, uh, Joan thought that since everybody else kind of, everybody's little communities have their own names. Like there are the Candy Canes, Lara Gasparini has her tribe, um, Neele has the Silver Silkies. Everybody's got like a cute little name, right? So Joan decided, I wish she were here today. She decided that we needed um, a name for our little community. And we we tossed around several different things and couldn't come up with, with anything there in the beginning and um we settled on live wires how do you feel about that so because i use a lot of wire <laughs> we use a ton of wire right and when i think of like a live wire like usually that's a descriptor for like the crazies like i feel like we're kind of the crazies out of the industry, right? We're, we're so laid back and goofy and fun and we do snack shenanigans and just random crazy things. So we're the live wires? I don't know. Chew on that a little bit and see how you feel about it. I liked it. I thought it was like, hi live wires. <laughs> I don't know, I don't know. You wanna be a live wire, let's be live wires, shall we? <laughs> All right, so now we are gonna get down to the project and let me tell you, this takes very little materials okay when you order a sparkle bracelet from the candy cooper shop you're gonna get the bracelet with all of the settings okay it's already ready for you right but you do have all those little prongs that you need to handle that can be um tough 
right? You look at that and you're like, what am I supposed to do with that? How am I going to, how am I going to, how am I going to bend those over? So there's a pusher tool guys. It's basically just a wooden handle and it's got a flathead nail on the end of it. This is what we're going to use to push those prongs over. Grab these in the shop. I've tried to put these bracelets together without the pusher prong tool. I'm not real sure what you call it. <laughs> <laughs> I tried to put the bracelets together without this guy and it can be done but it's really really frustrating so just save yourself the trouble particularly if you're going to put together more than one of these sparkle bracelets and grab this it's handy I think they're just like five bucks you need this in your life not just for the sparkle bracelets but you can actually use this for setting any of your stones into settings where you've got prongs so it's definitely worth it just to grab it add it to your cart with your sparkle bracelets okay so not only do you get the bracelet part that the tool is sold separately by the way but you're going to get a bag of the crystals okay to put in your settings and depending on which bracelet you buy either all of your crystals are going to be the same color or they're going to be different colors here okay and i'm going to talk a little bit about the different colored ones when we get down on the mat okay because i do kind of need to address a little something about that all right so without further ado i know i've talked my head off Let's get down to it and let's put together one of these bracelets, guys. We can still keep chit-chatting though, all right? All right, let's do it, let's do it. Okay, so let me adjust the light just a little bit, make sure that everybody can see. Yeah, Deanna says the prong tool is so worth it. I agree, I agree. I I almost didn't get it and then I, I, I'm glad that I did because it, it was the best decision ever. Like I said, you can do these without it, but gosh, it's just so much better. So here is the bracelet, guys. This one is in that antique silver kind of um, matte color finish. But depending on your bracelets, they come in different ones. I've got this green one here, and the, the settings for it are like antique copper, which I think is absolutely gorgeous, by the way. I think this one's my favorite. This is the first one I ever bought. Totally fell in love with that. You can't hear me. Uh-oh. The wiggle. Okay, I wiggled it, guys. Let me know if it... Let me know if it did okay. Um, so anyway, like I was saying, I believe that there are some silver ones, there are copper ones. Um, I feel like there are some kind of antique brass, like goldy colored ones, I'm pretty sure, and rose gold. It just really kind of depends. She puts them together with the stones so that they all kind of match. No, Santa didn't bring me an iPad, I know. <laughs> <laughs> no one's more disappointed in that than I am. Okay, <clears throat> so I'm going to go ahead and open up my little baggie with my, with my crystals here, you guys. And this one is all the same color. So I just got these clear, which is, gosh, so pretty. Okay, so I've got enough to fill up all of these. So when you buy the kit, that's what you're going to get. You're going to get the bracelet with the settings and the crystals. you got to buy the pusher tool separately. Um, if you buy a bracelet that has more than one color, I ran into this accidentally. Let me take off the one that I'm talking about in particular. Um, if you've got one that has, like this one's got two different colors in it. This one has three different colors in it. If you get one that's like this, please set out your stones in order before you start just popping them into the settings. And the reason that I say that is because this one, I accidentally started with blue on either end instead of this kind of pinky purple color and there weren't enough blues, right? So definitely take that into consideration. Like you need to be sure that you lay your stones out in whatever pattern you're gonna use and make sure that you don't accidentally end up with you know, where you've got to take them out of the settings. That can be done, but it is really, really difficult and really, really frustrating to do. Um, so that's that's probably my number one tip to this is to lay out your pattern ahead of time if you've got more than one color, okay? Just, you'll thank me later, I promise. <laughs> it's not easy to get these out once you've got them set. Okay, so as far as this part is concerned, guys, it's pretty much just exactly what you think it's gonna be. It's gonna take us a minute. We're gonna just chit chat as we go. There's really not anything um, I would say that is um, not, 
what's the word I'm looking for? It's not going to be really super hard, but it may be frustrating. So all you got to do is you just want to drop your stone right into the setting. The issue is that now you've got to set those prongs and your stone, your little Swarovski crystal is going to want to move around on you as you are setting your stones. And so a lot of times what I would do is I would just hold it down with my finger and then push one of the prongs down. That works and that's, that's what I'm going to do. However, there are a couple of other things that you can do. Let me grab, if you've got, I always have my beading all around. If you've got a beading all, you can put it down and hold it in place. Mine has kind of a rubbery grip to it, so it will definitely hold that in place. And then you can come in and push the prongs down. You can use a pencil eraser as well. You just wanna be sure that you can still get in there with your tool, okay? So that's all there is to it. Now, as far as setting the prongs, I like to set on the opposite sides. So I will, I'll come up here to one corner and do this corner and then I'll do the opposite corner. That really just kind of holds that stone in place so that it doesn't wiggle around while I get the other two. However, it will wiggle on you. There, I've never put together one, I've put together a bunch of these, but I've never put one together where I haven't had to fight with it at least a little bit. It just takes patience. You guys know it'll be the first time I say it this year, probably the millionth time I've said it to you guys since we've known each other. You've got to give yourself grace. Be patient. Take your time. Go slow with this. Don't put anything metal down on the surface of your crystal. That's why I say use a pencil eraser. Use the end of a tool that you've got. Do not put your pliers down on the top of that crystal because Swarovski crystal is soft. And it's durable, but it is soft and it will scratch, okay? So just keep that in mind. You don't want to scratch up the surface of your crystals, okay? Again, and that's also why I really prefer the tool instead of trying to use like my pliers or anything like that because that's a surefire way, way to scratch up the surface. Okay, so enough chatting. Let's, well, I mean, we are going to continue to chat, but you can see I'm holding that down with my finger, okay? But I can still get to this prong that's over here. I come at it at an angle with the pusher tool, the prong tool, and then I just kind of roll forward, okay? That's all the movement is, is just kind of rolling it forward. And that's going to set that prong in place. Now, let me move my crystals. I'm going to put these in my bowl over here because I don't want to pick this up. You can, but I feel like every time I pick it up, I wiggle the, um, the crystal out of place. So I just turn the whole thing around without actually picking it up off of my surface. And same thing, putting my finger kind of halfway on there and just rolling that opposite prong. Okay, so you can see the two opposite corners, I've rolled those down. The two open corners, I still need to do those two. So they are a little bit easier to do because your, your stone should already be in place. Now that's it. That's all we had to do. But you want to double check it. You want to be sure that you don't have like any gaps, that it stayed right down in that setting as you were setting those prongs. Now I can actually see one of the prongs right here. Do you see how there's some space in between the prong and the stone? I don't like that. So I always, sometimes I wait until the very end, but I go back over them. So once I've got it in its spot and I know that it's not gonna move, I'll go back over the prongs one more time just to be sure that it's set in place and now it's good to go okay you can wait and do that at the end after you've set all of them but um you know you definitely want to double check all of those for one thing if you get a prong that's still kind of sitting up a little bit it'll get hung on your clothing and not only will it tear a hole in your clothing but that that's a weak spot in there and your crystal might come out okay all right so let's just keep on going now. We've got a few of these to do, but again, it's Feel Good Friday, so we don't, no pressure here, right? Holding my finger over it. Yes, definitely. When you are over in Candy Shop, mention my name when you go to check out. 
okay and you'll get a free gift with your order um, and it doesn't have to just be an order of a sparkle bracelet anything from her shop okay all right so there was the second one I did that one pretty quickly right they're not all gonna go that fast <laughs> I promise you that I have said more sentence enhancers putting these bracelets together than probably anything else I've done in a while, but it's so worth it. Gosh, they're so pretty. So I'm not, I'm not mad at it. <laughs> I'm not mad at it at all. Um, let's see. Christina says, yeah, don't, don't use glue. That was a good question. Um, I don't suggest using the glue either guys. Um, I, the prongs are going to be enough to hold them in place. The problem with using glue is that number one, you can get seepage and it will cloud up your crystal. But depending on the glues and depending on um, the backing here, even your E6000 guys, I mean, we talk about E6000 like it is like the gift from the gods for jewelry making. And it is. However, there have been a few times in my life when I have used E6000 on a stone that had a backing, a metallic backing like this, and it ate through it. I don't know if it was the E6000 or if it was the stone. It doesn't matter to me. But since then, I've been very, very careful about where I put my E6000 when it comes to my Swarovskis, okay? So I absolutely do not recommend putting glue in these bracelets. Don't do it. You will regret it. These bracelets are not inexpensive, okay? Use the prong setting tool and, and just double check your prongs. Just don't do it, don't do it. I know glue seems like the easy fix, but don't do it. <laughs> you, will, you will regret that decision. All right, there's that one. I'm just gonna flip it on around here. set the other one that is across from it oh my gosh are you guys talking about <laughs> you guys talking about your husband's and your beating your beating addictions I've got mine squared away because I work from home so I'm here and he's not he works out of the house well at least most of the time during this whole COVID thing he's he's worked from home quite a bit but um I watch for the mail. <laughs> I get the mail before anybody else does. So I don't have to worry about that very much. I bring all my packages up here. He doesn't come into my studio unless um, invited. So <laughs> that was because he used to steal my tools, you guys. I know you guys know that problem as well. He used to steal my tools and um, has broken in the past some of my Italian cutters and my pliers so I have threatened him within an inch of his life to come into this room to take anything or to even just come in here if I'm not <laughs> if I'm not in here <laughs> he knows better all right Michelle says she posted the measurements earlier yeah I um and I can measure this too when we get done at the end I'll measure it for you but I have a little teeny beanie wrist you guys and it comes with an extension chain I took the extension chains off of the ones that I keep the ones I give away I leave the extension chain on but for mine I leave them off um, but for my little teeny beanie wrists it fits pretty good it's not super super loose it's a little bit looser than what I normally would like my bracelets to be but I forgive it because it's gorgeous <laughs> so but it will fit um, it will fit everybody I promise there are really good extension chains on them um, let's see how do how do the Etsy shops work you just go right on over there and put stuff in your cart and check out it's just like shopping anywhere else and um, but if you have any problems just reach out uh, everybody not everybody but a lot of us here are fluent in Etsy shopping <laughs> and can help um, Nicole says hers is a mom problem that's funny. She has a mom problem. Mom's like, beads again. Um, is this like cup chain and you can remove the settings? Um, Donna, so do you mean like, can you remove them once you've put them in the setting? You can. I use a beading all to do that. 
um, I just take that tiny little tip and kind of wiggle it in between the stone and the prong and I'll loosen them up on all four and then come in with my pliers very very carefully um, but as far as like can you cut this apart you really can't I mean I guess you could if you wanted to um, you know to make short pieces out of it um, the only issue is that you will not have you'll have to wire wrap your pieces because these already have I'll show you since that one's these already have the loop that's pre-soldered on there. So you've got your end loop here and your end loop here. So if you cut off, you don't have your end loop anymore and you'd have to wire wrap your ends. Let's see here. Scroll. Whoa. All right. So we're just going to keep going. And more than anything, it's just going slow. You know, and just keeping your fingers out of the way and then checking to make sure that everything is even. You don't want to see any daylight between that crystal and the setting. Okay, you see how you can see mine are nice and flush. You don't want them to be kind of sitting crooked in that setting. Okay, and you can check both sides. Okay. Uh oh, Susan she says she made one of these and lost a crystal. I've not lost a crystal so far, but um, if you want to replace your crystal, now is the time to do it. And honestly, if you wanted to replace a crystal and you didn't want to hunt around on like Fire Mountain Gems, I have a feeling that if you sent Miss Candy a message and told her what bracelet it was and what crystal it was, she could probably help you find one. Um, she... she knows all of the crystals names and stuff that's the hard part when you're trying to um, replace a crystal unless it's one of the more common ones some of them have those funny names and they're funny shades it's hard to it's hard to find exact ones unless you know exactly which one it is so i'm sure she would be more than ha happy to help you find a replacement for that one that you lost um but if it's something like this that's just the clear, you could go straight over to Fire Mountain and just, just grab yourself one. But guys, that's not going to be the case for very long, unfortunately. That's why I want you guys, if you want these sparkle bracelets, grab them now. If you want big, gaudy, <laughs> bling rings from Etsy, go grab them now. Because Swarovski is going to be a thing of our past, unfortunately, as far as in the craft and do-it-yourself industry is concerned. You're still going to be able to buy Swarovski jewelry and, you know, gowns and things with Swarovski on them, but they're not going to be part of the handmade um, jewelry world. They're going to come directly from Swarovski. So keep that in mind. I'm, I'm not advocating that you go and hoard Swarovski, but I would be lying if I told you that I hadn't been doing that myself. Uh, me and my dear, dear friend Kathleen, we've been, <laughs> we're on the hunt, you know, looking, looking for Swarovski. My mom is in on it. Like we're, we're getting them and, you know, hanging on to the pieces that we've got. The jewelry, honestly, is the jewelry from Makers is really what I'm most interested in. Like, this is not from Swarovski's, Swarovski's website. This is from a maker on Etsy. And her entire shop is Swarovski jewelry. Um, I don't know the name of it. I could probably ask mom. Um, but it's those people that, like, I want to support them right now because I know that's their you know that's what's keeping their lights on and they are spending the next little bit of their lives trying to figure out like what are they going to do next so um the jewelry i know the beads will be able to get those for a while some of the crystals are, are going to start to be you know the ones that are that you can set like these these are going to start becoming more and more scarce but it's the handmade jewelry with the swarovskis in it that i really feel like you know, we should, if you're going to buy up, buy up the jewelry that's already made. Those makers need it. I know their their future feels a little uncertain right now, so. 
Okay. So we're moving right along. This is not taking me a while, but that's because I've done a bunch of these, you guys. Okay. So don't be, don't look at me and be like, oh, I could do that easy peasy, no problem. If you've never done one of these before, the first one that you do, it, it can be really frustrating. I'm just being very, very honest with you. Um, it can be frustrating. It can be hard to figure out like exactly where to place your finger and make sure that those stones are not popping up on you. Um, so Take that all into consideration if you've never done these before. Um, let's see here. Uh, there was a question. Um, have you measured that stone? Let me take a look. See, I believe that it's an eight millimeter, but I'm not positive. So yeah, let me grab. Yeah, that's an eight millimeter. Okay. Um, some of the other bracelets, I know Candy's got a couple in the shop. I, I got my daughter one that was rainbow um, Swarovski's. <laughs> sometimes that comes out of my mouth the right way and sometimes it doesn't. Um, that uh, are a little bit smaller. So um, yeah, definitely measure. Before you go crystal shopping to try to replace your crystal, definitely uh, measure and find out what millimeter stone you're looking for. And I call, I call them stones, you guys. I know people get frustrated with me for calling them stones because they're not, um, they're not gemstones, but as far as I'm concerned, it goes in a setting, it's a stone. <laughs> you guys know what I mean. Okay, so I'm just alternating. For those of you who are just kind of tuning in or popping back in, I start, I try not to pick the bracelet up at all until after I've set a stone in place. I try to keep it down on my work surface. If you pick it up, those stones tend to jump around on you. So I do the alternate uh, alternating corners. So I'll start here and here or here and here. And that kind of just goes ahead and holds the stone into place so that you can secure the other prongs. Okay, we've only got what five more to go. And then guys, after you do this part, you've gotten your fingerprints all over the surface of these beautiful crystals. So you definitely want to, um, uh oh, somebody says she can't hear anymore. Oh, oh, Jane, Jane was talking about the ring. I'll measure it here in just a minute. Uh, what was I even saying, you guys? I was reading comments. Oh, you definitely want to take a, a length free polishing cloth or something of that nature um, that you use to polish your jewelry with without any chemicals on it. Okay, I'm talking about just a straight up lint free um, cloth and go over the tops, particularly if you're going to give it as a gift and just wipe off all of those fingerprints that you may have gotten on there. Um, a lot of times when I'm wearing mine, I forget about that, but I try before I put them on to um, to wipe the smudges off of them. They always, mine always get smudgy just because I'm, I'm kind of a messy person. Well, that was a not a great, <laughs> I just admitted to everybody that I am a pig. No, I'm not really. <laughs> but I mean, you know, if you wear them every day, they come into contact with a lot of things. So um, definitely... Don't want to go swimming in these by any means. I mean, if they get a little wet when you're washing your hands, that's okay. But don't shower in these. Take them off. Um, definitely don't spray them with perfume. Put your perfumes and stuff on and your lotions on and let it dry before you put your sparkle bracelets on. And that's true with not just sparkle bracelets. It's true with anything that has um, your Swarovski crystals um, or any of your crystals in general, really, even the Chinese crystals. You just want to be sure that you don't... Um, you don't get things like those kinds of chemicals on them. Perfumes are really, really bad. They make a funky, funky, nasty film over the top of your pieces and you don't realize it until after that coating has like really built up and it's really hard to get off. You have to scrub with a little brush and I'm never a fan of scrubbing my crystal surfaces with a brush if possible, you know? So just keep all that in mind. <laughs> Colleen, <laughs> how are you? It's not even on my finger at the moment. How can you even see that? That's so funny. 
Yes, hand sanitizer. Sue says hand sanitizer is bracelet killer. It totally is. So yeah, be mindful of all of that, guys. Slide them up your arm before you go crazy with the hand sanitizer. Uh-oh, now look. I wondered when it was going to happen. See, I've got one that is not, it's not set. And you can see how I wanted that to happen so you guys could see how we fix that. So see how it's sitting crooked in the setting, but I've already pushed down one of the prongs. So sometimes you can just kind of tap it and enough tapping will knock your crystal out. But if that doesn't work, you can bring the beading all in. You just want to be careful because that backing will scratch just as much as the surface will scratch, okay? If you scratch the backing of this, just like with the glue, if you eat away that backing, it changes the way the crystal looks from the front. So if you get a big gash or scratch in this, this foil backing, you're going to see it when you look down onto the crystal, which in a bracelet far away, it's probably not going, you're not going to notice it. But if you're going to sell it or give it as a gift, you definitely want to be careful not to do that. Okay. If it's your own, that's totally fine. Like some of mine have gotten scratched just from learning how to do this. Um, but be mindful of that. The front and the back you don't want to get scratches on either one of those now my prong you can see it was bent over just a little bit already so i am going to come in with my pliers and re-straighten that one out just barely so that i can start fresh so just a little tiny movement to bring that prong right back up to where it needs to be so that i'm starting free and clear again i don't have to try to get underneath that that bend because you'll never get that crystal flat in there again if you if you do that i mean you probably would eventually but it's just not worth the frustration so looks like this one's going to give me a little bit of an issue so again i'm just going to straighten out my prongs there we go okay Oops, no, I don't want it to fall. Okay. So that one didn't give me too much trouble. It was, it was easy enough to fix, but it's good that you guys saw me fix it because the, I promise you're going to have that happen <laughs> at least once. If you can get through a whole bracelet without that happening, you're magical and like you need to bottle that and sell it. <laughs> But I finally got that one in there. All right, we've only got one left. Looks good. I believe I got them all, you guys. I think I got them all nice and secure is what I mean. Because, I mean, clearly I have them all. But now I'm just going to glance over and take a look. They all look good. All right. Now I'm going to wipe off. Okay. And then I'm going to put it on, hopefully. On camera I'm not very good at putting on jewelry but <laughs> putting on bracelets on my own I'm always like here will you do this for me I have to find a kid there we go and I like to take the um, extension chain off just because I wear it on the shortest setting because I have a really tiny little twig wrist but um, you know figure out which which one of these and if you want to get rid of the last ones you totally can if you don't like all that extra dangle on there um but i don't know you could even add a a real pretty like wire wrapped bead to the end of it if you wanted to add a little extra um let's see here uh, let me roll back here 
uh, what the color of the one on your wrist is before you put the clear on. Okay, so this one right here, she just relisted this one. Let me let me pull up her shop real quick and I'll tell you. Um, and I'm gonna go ahead and turn you guys around, okay? Because I don't want you to just like be looking at nothing while I look this up really quickly. Let me know if the sound is good, okay? Um, the one that I have on, not the clear one, is, hold on. So you're going to go to Candy Cooper Shop, okay? She's live right now. Oh, yeah, it's after two. I know, guys. Oh, I'm sorry. I don't mean to be going over her. She, um, she was trying to get early get on early because she's got a lot going on. okay so the green one that I have the very first one that I bought this green one this one is called cowgirl crystal this one's in the shop right now and the one that I have on that's not the krill the clear is called watch your words no it isn't <laughs> is it watch your words I think it is. I think it's called watch, watch Your Words. Except it looks like the setting is different. Um, it looks like it's in a copper setting. Mine's in a silver. That silver setting. But it's very much that AB. Like there's a color there. It's blueish. <laughs> blueish color? I don't know. She is a little early, but uh, Candy's got a... Uh, I don't know that you would call it a trunk show. It's she's she's dream big. Yeah, I think that might be what it was called. Um, she's got a big check glass. What would you call it? She <laughs> she's she's not really a trunk show, but she just uploaded a ton of check glass into the Candy Cooper Etsy shop. So um, that's why she's going early because I think she's going through all of that. I'm going to have to go tune in myself. But guys, if you go over to Kenny Cooper's shop and you want a sparkle bracelet, pop that in. Grab yourself the pusher tool as well. Um, and um, while you're there, if you want to grab some of the check glass, I actually grabbed a couple of the check glass leaves that she uploaded this morning. Um, regardless, mention my name in the comments when you go to check out and you'll get a free gift. It doesn't just have to be the sparkle bracelets. Anything you get from Candy Shop, mention me in the um, comments when you go to check out. You can grab yourself a free little gift. I believe that it is something sparkly. Um, let's see. Before we go, I did tell you guys that I will be updating my shop. My shop, um, the beads are in, the bead bags are in the shop. There's only a couple of these left. In fact, I did see some some transactions go through so they may be completely sold out i don't know but i've got more glass beads so if you guys want them and they're sold out haven't checked yet let me know i've got the glass bead assortments and the acrylic bead assortments that are in the shop also in the shop i do want to just show these real quickly just so that you know so the mermaid scales bracelet this one in the blue and the purple it's got a tiara cast toggle on it this one um, went into the shop last night so if you're interested in that guy it's there i've got a pair of jasper wire wrapped earrings those are in the shop as well so normally on fridays guys i'm going to show you guys um at the end of the show what's going into the shop these actually got uploaded ahead of time so but i don't i want you to see them like in person because it's better than pictures so there are the jasper earrings um let's see I have two or two necklaces that have swarovskis in them so this is an antique brass necklace uh with patina paint there's some chinese crystals here and then that peacock swarovski rivoli that is set in um vintage settings okay so there's that guy it's over in the shop as well and this is my favorite necklace ever this is over in the shop i've had this for a while and just just added it to the shop because i couldn't decide if i wanted to sell it or keep it but it's another Swarovski set in some vintage settings. It's got a brass chain tassel, some Chinese crystals, and it's a really long necklace 
with um, several different kinds of chain. So this guy is over in the shop as well, just in case you are looking to buy yourself something for the new year. Oh, and these guys, I haven't put these in the shop, but you guys remember this project. I haven't put these in the shop, but anybody that's interested, if you want these, let me know and I will put them in the shop and you can grab them. I just have the one pair, but um, let me know if you're interested in these and you want them. I'll put them in the shop and you can grab them. All right, so that is it for me, you guys. I will go so that you guys can go over and hang out with Miss Candy Cooper and see what new things she's got going on. Uh, don't forget to check out my Etsy shop. It's called 13 Crows, but when you pull it up, it definitely says Sarah Ellis Designs. You will not be confused by it at all. I think if you just type in my name, you, my Etsy shop will come up. Um, so yeah, I'll be doing shop updates once a week. Um, unless things get just totally crazy and then it'll be more than once a week. You guys don't forget about the brand new schedule um, That is posted in the Sarah Ellis Designs community Facebook page if you or Facebook group If you've not joined that join that now and also sign up for the email list. Yes, Sarah Ellis rockin 2021 so many new things guys the new schedule starts next week the size on the ring. Yes, let me look <laughs> It's a big one, I know that. Oh my gosh, okay. It is a, it is a 35, 35 millimeters up and down and 25 across. So it's a, a 35 by 25, is that, is that crazy stone? <laughs> I love it, it's just, it's just way fabulous. Okay. All right, that's it. You guys, happy new year. Thank you so much for joining me on this first day of 2021. I can't think of a better way to start out the new year. I have loved seeing you guys. I have missed you so much. So I'm glad that we are back and have a brand new set of Facebook Lives to look forward to. I will see you guys next week. There is not a Jewel Loom Facebook today, um, but I will see you guys uh, not Monday, save the dates on those Mondays, but Tuesday for uh, Technique Tuesdays. All right, you guys have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your Friday and enjoy your weekend. And I will see you guys next week with some brand new projects. I love you guys. Bye.